Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are here at CES 2014, back at the AMD booth, and we're going to go check out the Surround House 2 Monsters in the Orchestra. Last year they had the Surround House, this is the Surround House 2. It's supposed to be pretty awesome. Let's go inside and check it out. Hi everybody, welcome to AMD Surround House 2 Monsters in the Orchestra. I'm Lenny Moore, I'm the composer of the music, and I'm going to be conducting for you today. And I'm Carl Wakelin, I'm the sound designer for this experience, and I'll be talking a little bit about the technology involved behind this experience. All right, so uh, first announcement, very minor one, if you have a cell phone, please turn down the volume. Um, and I think I'm going to begin by bringing in our orchestra. Thanks, Lenny. Well, that pretty much showed off all the technology that we have for this demo yep, right thanks there. Thanks a lot. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really, we've got a lot more to show you, including a great composition by Lenny that will be, be playing, this orchestra will be playing for you. They're really a fine set of musicians here, actually. And each one of them is individually animated to the part that they're playing. There's no, no funny tricks, no looping going on here. This is the real thing. So I'm going to talk about the uh, technology, what, what AMD is showing here. So what we have here is a demonstration of AMD's surround computing concept. And what we have is three aspects of that we're showing here. The first being the visual aspect, uh, the second being the audio, and the third being the gesture. Okay, and all of these are being rendered uh, in a system exactly like this one here you see in the center of the room, which consists of a, a FirePro graphics card and a Kaveri A10 APU. And that's it, one, one graphics card, one APU doing this entire thing for you. So here's what's going on. First, in the visual aspect, what you see here is a, is a complete contiguous hemispheric dome display. Uh, but what's actually rendering this are six Ifinity panels. So there are six Ifinity displays, you know, basically a, a, in, in a total of 1100 520 by 1200 pixels, uh, running at over 30 frames per second, a really huge amount of data. So that's split into six identical affinity panels. Uh, so how does that work? So normally, if you think of displays, they're going to be rectangular in shape. Uh, but obviously, a rectangle is not going to work well here in the hemisphere. So what we have is in our shader engine, we're running a conversion algorithm that basically warps the rectangles into wedge shapes that fit in this dome. They just interlock perfectly to give you this unified experience. But that really wouldn't be enough, because well, what do you do about the boundaries between those panels, how do you make them fit so nicely and you can't even see where the seams are. And so in addition to that, we have a, a proprietary edge blending technology that's also being uh, driven from our shader engine that is seamlessly joining together these Ifinity panels into a, into a single unified whole. So Ifinity isn't just about discrete displays anymore, it's about a contiguous surface that you can't even see the edges of that. So and that's in top, you know, running in that FirePro graphics card on top of all this animation you see going on. So, so that's the, the visual aspect. So now talking about the audio. So first of all, we have a situation here where each one of these monsters you see is going to be playing their individual part, and it's going to be rendered in an extremely localized way using 32 speakers in this dome. And so they're arranged in three concentric, uh, three concentric rings, uh, basically 14, and then the middle ring is another 14, and the top is four. And then surrounding you are four subwoofers to give you the base. And so that's a 32.4 audio system, discrete channels coming out of the FirePro graphics card again on the HDMI, well basically display port to HDMI conversion. And now, as you might know when you came in the room, a dome can be a very challenging environment for audio. Uh, there are you know, strange echoes and, and resonances that can go on when you have a, a curved surface like this. Moreover, the screen is being puffed up by air, and because of the nature of the material, it doesn't really 
allow audio to pass through, you know, very easily. So what we do here is we have algorithms for, you know, equalization and speaker compensation running on our true audio technology to compensate for the characteristics of the screen material and to make the audio work as best as it possibly can in this dome environment. So every seat here should be, most of them should be pretty good seats for, for hearing this audio experience. It's going to be just like you're in the room with the musicians. So finally now, how do we get those musicians down here? So as you, as you saw here, Lenny gestured them down. And the way he did that was using a 360 gesture technology. So you know, normally you think of gestures with Kinect, as you might have an Xbox One and other products. That's going to be in front of you. It's sort of a planar surface. You can gesture in front and see the screen. And that works really well. But here where we've got a dome, and we want to have 360 gesture. So the camera, in this case, is above Lenny's head. And it's able to detect him moving not just in front, but all around. He can turn around and gesture all around him, up and down, any direction, well, any direction toward the dome, and basically command these monsters to do what we need them to do. So Lenny, all that said, okay. and that, uh, and again, that algorithm is also running in our very AP. Just as a point of clarification, when we're talking about 360, we're not talking about Xbox 360. We're talking about 3D, 360 degree gesture. And I'm just going to make sure ah, my back is straight. And okay, so there's my cursor right there. And I'm going to pick Point Dexter, our xylophone player here. I'm going to make it louder, softer. Gonna reach all the way behind me. Grab our own player. That's Maria. She's a troublemaker. This, look all around, the animations are great. Enjoy it.
awesome. Thank you. Thank you, right. Thank you, right, girl. You know, we, we keep uh, squashing that cell phone every performance, and it just comes back in the next one. I don't know. So uh, Lenny's going to open up the dome here, and we'll actually uh, show you a little bit about how this is working. So these uh, red rectangles here, I'm sorry, squares, are basically showing you where the speaker locations are approximately in the dome. They're giving you this localized audio. And here are the 1920 by 1200 uh, Ifinity panels, all six of them. This is how they actually are arranged, you know, rendered, you know, warped into wedge shapes by our technology running the shader engine on the fire program. And that's how they look as a rectangle. You see how curved they are. You know, you basically unroll them and they, they create the dome. So that's our technology demo. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you all for coming out. When we exit to the... Uh